Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on viewing the design using K-Layout. In this video, we are going to visually inspect the GDS that we produced out of the physical implementation of, uh, in the previous video. But before we start, please make sure that you have created a repository, ran setup, developed timers RTL, and integrated the design in the user project wrapper. And finally, make sure that you run physical implementation as shown in the previous videos. There are two options for viewing the layout. If you installed K-Layout locally on your desktop, as shown in the setting up your desktop video, you can navigate to where the GDS layout is located and open the file directly using K-Layout. Layout views of your design are stored in the run directories under the open lane directory and macro name for your project. When an open lane run completes successfully, the final GDS layout is copied to the GDS directory in the root directory of your project. If you did not install K-Layout, you can open your layout using K-Layout that is part of the open lane Docker container you installed during setup. For this option, let's go to the open lane GitHub repository, then from the documentation, navigate to Re reference manual, then viewing layouts graphically. In order to view the design graphically, we will use the open lane tutorial. First, let's open a terminal in the root directory of our repository. Type cd dependencies slash openlane underscore src and press enter. Then we will start openlane using make mount. Now through openlane, we can type python3 gui.py dash dash viewer klayout dash dash format gds dash dash stage sign off. Then copy the rest of the run path and paste it, then enter. This opens our design final layout. As we designed, we have the user project wrapper with one macro, which is user proj timer. Under user proj timer, there are only standard cells, which represent the timer synthesized logic. You can right click on any layer and check the checkbox hide la empty layers. Also right click and hide all, then double click PR boundary to show the boundary of our macro. We can see that our macro user project timer is placed on the bottom left corner of the user project wrapper as we planned. Also from the bottom, wishbone clock and wishbone reset are connected. And fr from the left, we have our GPIOs from 37 till 26. As we can see, the logic is concentrated mainly in the middle of the macro. The design is very simple for such a large area. More complicated designs would have routing everywhere and would utilize larger areas. Now we can view all the layers and we can see that the user project wrapper PDN or power distribution network is connected to the user project timer. That completes this tutorial for viewing the layout after physical implementation. Further videos will walk through gate level simulation and reviewing sign off reports for the design.